Mary Crimbo. Hello, welcome to the stream. So, well, it's the 24th of December here, um, which for me is Christmas. So I'm going to do a short stream before I head off for the day. Because um, as some of you might know, my family celebrates Christmas on the 24th. The whole do a dinner thing and then open presents at midnight. That's the thing we do. And then the 25th is, uh, is free. Oh, yeah, right. Apollo is now part of the island, so great. I actually haven't done this event ever, so... Oh, it's different music, too. Uh, it's a fake, don't worry. Very little... Oh, no mail. Yeah, unfortunately it's a fake. Would have been nice. Actually, I think I have that one, potentially. So, let's get some of the stuff out of the way and then we'll see how we go. Consider this kind of like a warm-up. I do gotta play Pokemon. Um, one thing I want to do before the year closes is kind of wrap up the two games we have going. Three, I guess, potentially. Um, we'll try to finish Ocarina of Time tomorrow. And then I might take like a week, a week off the whole Zelda thing. Start fresh in the new year. Yeah, unfortunately, I... I wanted to get, like, a sleigh. But I didn't. It's probably because I didn't play this enough and you're supposed to get recipes by just continuous gameplay, which, eh. I mean, I probably could have remodeled something. Sunk a few hours in, but it's fine. Because I, I set this up here, but I didn't end up getting a sleigh. Which is a little bit of a disappointment. Kiraki. Oh, wow. Well, isn't that a bitch? these fossils. Music's kind of nice. We'll go see what uh, he wants after the usual morning shit. Definitely gonna check here first. I don't wanna get caught out. Okay. So I have like, I don't know, three hours in a little bit before I got a jet, but. Should be able to get something done today. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Merry Christmas, yes. Early for you. How's it going? I had your uh, day go yesterday with...
I just died yesterday with your friend. There you go. You slept so long, just woke up, your body was like, don't move. <laughs> I've had a couple days like that. Yesterday in particular, I was meant to do a stream in the morning, but then I kind of woke up and I was like, uh, I can't. Too tired, so. I went back to sleep and then I got up and went into the city. Instead, um, picked up a bunch of stuff. Because, yeah, with today, I don't, I don't hear about, like, when things are going on. And it's not because I'm left out of the loop, it's just, that's how my family operates, is they will wait until the last minute to reveal the details of things. So, you know, I'm used to it. I'm always prepared. Kind of like... Okay. Just assume something's gonna pop up. Um... So... I got... I, I learnt that I got lunch at my parents when I went to see Spider-Man, so... And then doing dinner at my aunt's. But then, I found out that a couple of my younger cousins are, uh, are coming over to lunch at my parents, so I was like, ah, oh, I should probably get them presents. So, I went out and got them some presents. Um, so I did that. <laughs> it was a nice day yesterday, so I went out, um... I tried this fried chicken that I haven't tried before, and it's kind of been there for ages, but I honestly just never got the time. Um, it's like this Taiwanese fried chicken. It's called Hot Star, and they're known for just being gigantic chicken. It's just... It's a large piece of flattened chicken that you get, and they put it in like a sleeve, and then you eat it just like that, and then... They give it different flavors, like they've got salts, or you can get them with some sauce. Pretty good. Um, the city was ridiculously packed, considering... Well, I guess not, right? Like, we're at over 90% vaccination rate, so... Everything just felt normal, with the exception of, like, when you walk into a store, you still have to do the whole mask thing. But other than that, outside, it was just, like, yeah, it was pretty normal. I'm sorry, hang on. You have, you had a quality time with your best friend. It was amazing. Nice to hear. And hello, Zoe. Oh, you're hung, you're starving? Well, I'm sorry. I'm just talking about what I did yesterday. Um. And then I had this really good... Christmas theme bubble tea which was it was like this creme brulee latte thing it was really good uh, going on on theme with like the whole Southeast Asian street food thing the two things are next door to one, one another um So, yeah, one place is called, uh, Hot Star, and the other place is called Goncha. Which, uh, Goncha is really fucking good. Was this on Swanson Street? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the one, pretty much, they call it Chinatown. It's on the edge of Chinatown. If you haven't had, tried Hot Star, it's, it's pretty good. I 
It's always piqued my interest, but I've never... I guess I was never in the mood for, like, just a piece of chicken. As weird as that might sound. But yesterday, because I got up and I just was like, alright, let me head in, get a few things for tomorrow. Um, so I didn't eat. And when I got there, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll try it. I honestly don't know how people can eat the, uh, the full meal combo. It comes with a side of fries and a drink, so I just got, um, you know, the chicken and the drink, because I thought fries would have been overkill, and I was right, like, it's pretty damn filling. It's... It's not quite a whole breast, but it's, it's, it's there. Surprising thing was just the sheer number of people that were out and about, and um, outside. I mean, there's a place called Burke Street Mall here, which is it's just a, it's a main street in uh, Melbourne. A lot of trams go through it, and there's uh, big department stores along that street. Um, and every, uh, this, uh, this chain called Maya and David Jones, they kind of share a building there, and they do a Christmas display. So this year was Peter Rabbit, um, which looked pretty cool. Like, I, I got a quick look at it. Um, but the surprising thing was there was a massive queue to, like, go see Santa, and... Honestly, something I wouldn't have expected given pandemic stuff, but yeah, it was... Just... people. Some semblance of normality, which is good to see. I usually hate crowds, but I think seeing what I saw yesterday was a, is a bit relieving. Um, you know, I got in and I got out. I, I bought what I needed to buy and then got, uh, went for a walk. Just, that was nice. Mars are back for us as a midlight last night, though. Are they? Well, I, that wouldn't surprise me because they're kind of afraid of Christmas, thinking that it might be a super spreader event. Um, let me see. I honestly haven't checked, to be honest. I think what they're doing is preventing Christmas and Boxing Day. Let's see. Uh, I mean... Ugh. Hang on, one sec. Okay. Mars will leave mandatory indoors from 11.58, 9pm. Which applies to all indoor settings except private homes. I thought that was the case already. I thought if you were in the shopping center, like, you had to wear a mask anyway. Most people were. I, I couldn't- I can't remember seeing anyone without one. I don't see how that's different from what we already had. Anyway. Um... I've never done this event. You think retail was fine, but big supermarkets and shopping centers were not. Right, okay. I guess that- uh, I mean, that's- that's not that big a deal. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. But, I, I guess here's the thing, like... We were kind of talking about this at the Christmas party. Um, we've been pretty good. I mean, 
dickheads dickheads aside, right? Like <laughs> We've been pretty good with how things have been going and uh I should check the recipe. But here's the thing, like we're at we're approaching that point where there's not many more people that are going to get vaccinated. Like, we're going to reach that point where the only people that remain are the ones that aren't going to get it. But as far as, like, we're well past the whole concept of, you know, being able to get herd immunity. It's like, what else could they possibly ask for? Like, what's the next goal exactly? Because 100% isn't going to be reachable. By any stretch of the imagination, it's like, there'll be kids that won't get it. Because it's not approved for their use, so it's like... I don't know. Oh cool. I'm glad I farmed these. At some point... As scary as it might sound, they kind of have to let it rip. <laughs> like... Just, I don't know. Preferably before the whole booster shot thing, because I think the advantage we have is we're gonna... The booster shot stuff is gonna start happening well before winter, so... Alright, I need to craft it. But yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like, well, where do we go from here? You actually thought it was everywhere outside, but this is much better. Yeah, th th there's no way they could do everywhere outside. I think even the people that have been following the rules would kind of be frustrated at that. I don't know. It's a hard one. Okay, so that that's a hint. Wait, what did- what- what? It's a ma- oh, I see I got a bag on my back. It'll wear off at 5am. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I look like- I don't look like I'm gonna deliver presents, I look like, um... <sighs> Fuck, what was that movie? Watchmen. I just look like um, I'm one of those anti-heroes. <laughs> like I had a shopping accident. Yeah, kind of like Rorschach, but like budget Rorschach. Um, like there was some kind of accident during a Christmas shopping event. And I am now forever doomed to wear a sack on my head. Wait, it's, uh, pockets. There we go. Set to hang these in. Okay, uh, give me a sec. Because I, um, I got, like, a couple of energy drinks. Because today's going to be a long one. <laughs> I got up at 5.30 to take a shower and prepare. So I'm all clothed up, ready to go. And then I'm going to stream until I have to go, pretty much. So. And then I'll, I'll be going all the way till midnight. So that, that's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm going to get another one out of the fridge. Give me a sec.
And then tomorrow um, we're gonna finish Ocarina of Time, and then um, we'll do a game that is Christmas to me. I'm gonna crash by midday. No, I'm pretty fine, honestly. Um, I got some stuff to take to entertain. Am I excited for Christmas with the fam? Yeah, it'll be the first time in a couple of years that we've uh, all been together like this. It'll be cool. I'm kind of looking forward to uh, giving out a couple of these presents I got. We get a present back each time. That's nice. Okay. That is very sneaky, Kid Cat. Honestly, I, I'm the most tired on the way back. There's just something about on the way back home. That, uh, I guess it's the drive. It just makes me tired. But I'm not driving, thankfully. Because, uh, yeah. My brother and his partner, um, there's a kid to take account for. Because there's a, there's a booster seat. They're the ones that drive. So, I get out, I get out of driving. I showed my appreciation for all that driving stuff. I, I was like, let's go see Spider-Man with my other brothers. And then, and then I was like, all right, my treat. And uh, yeah, their daughter's funny. She just started getting into gaming and she's been playing Kirby. And every time I see her, she's just significantly better at the game. Like last time, um, I played Kirby with her because it's like two player. And she was telling me where to go. And I was trolling her a little, kind of like messing it up on purpose. And she'd just be like, well, stop it. And then I was like, all right, all right, I'm going to try. And uh, we got up to the stage that she usually has difficulty with. Because there's, there's these, uh, obstacles, kind of like in Mario, how you had the, uh... What the fuck are they called? Those... The things that are, that are effectively like fire, and they spin around in a circle. So, I mean, bless her, right? Like, she... She's really good at dodging them, but they were on blocks that Kirby can, can eat. So she it never considered... She never considered to eat them, so I just destroyed them. And then she just, she was looking at me intently, like, and basically she was looking at what buttons I was pressing. You jerk face. Oh, come on. But yeah, she, uh, she realized, oh. Just, uh. Just poking fun. So she learned how to how to get past that stage very quickly now. Anyway, um, cause she's Hang on. She's at the age where she's gonna be starting school. So my other brother, we got her, um, this Kirby backpack and a set of Kirby lunchboxes. And the backpack is like, 
It's pretty damn big. We thought it was going to be like a tiny novelty one, but it's not. It's a case where like, shit, the picture... The picture... I was like, okay, this thing's going to be tiny, but it's not. This thing could actually... It could be used for an adult, really. But it's, it's kind of made out of like plush material. So it's very soft. So, yeah, I can't wait to give her that. Damn, Alice lifts. Um, and I got my younger two cousins, like, some Digimon. Because they, uh... They're remaking them. So I got them one each. They'll, uh... They'll be able to mess around with that. I also picked up, uh, the card game that I played at the Christmas party. Um, for work. So, yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> she apparently knows how to play, uh, like, action RPG games. Like, she can play Path of Exile a little now, which is kind of ridiculous. This is all in the time span of a year, like, went from... Barely being able to play, like, a game like Kirby, to playing Mario Odyssey, and now being able to play... A game like Path of Exile and do okay at it. Did I go see Norm? I can't... Maybe I did, but not with the bag of presents. Oh, she says let me get up. You know, I kind of wish that I knew who I had visited already. Because I've been talking and to be honest... Okay, I haven't seen Faith. Pretty sure I saw you. Crap. <laughs> um, anyway, I missed the whole like... Heading to St. Kilda Botanical Gardens for a picnic. That's good. It's gonna be a nice couple of days, so the weather's definitely good for it. Today is like the perfect day for summer. It's like 27. It's just comfortable weather. Hey, right, I did see you. So, does this dude, like, live in a storage unit? <laughs> What's with the wallpaper? Can I gift them different wallpaper and then they'll use it? I must have seen Faith. If I, if I saw him. No, I guess I haven't. Okay. Um... Pango. I don't think I've seen Pango. I think Pango is out and about. Kid Cat I saw. Saw Norma. We haven't seen the kangaroo yet. 
Kit. Kit is out and about. And oh, there's Kit. Okay. There you go. Okay. And now, Tango. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't find a sleigh. I could make a giant present, but... I wonder if this music music changes or if it's the same all day. Also, when I was on that island, the one that supposedly was gonna give me all those bugs, it didn't. I waited for several hours hunting and I only managed to get like a couple. It's possible that it needs to be cedar trees. And that's why the rest of them didn't appear, which is a bit sad, but I did what I could with it. The, uh, the fish side of the aquarium is done. Wasn't that a time of year thing? It was, but, um, when you do the daily island, you can get special islands that are set to a particular date. So that day I had gotten an island that was basically, uh, in the summer. So I did manage to catch the Napoleon fish, which finished off the collection. Um, but like... So how'd it go? Yeah, so this is all done. And I got the giant isopod, so now it's a crab for that, and then... I only managed to get that... ...and the blue weevil, and then none of the, none of the other ones, because... ...they didn't appear on the trees. Which I imagine it's cedar trees, which would make sense. Um, but yeah, I, I waited. Like, there was no reason for it not to happen. And the only explanation I can think of is there were no cedar trees there. Which would make sense as to why I never got them the first time around. Because when this game came out, it would have been March, right? So at that point, that's... Those, those bugs would have probably been around for one more month, and because at the start of the game you don't have access to the high ground, um, you don't get to get to see the trees. So that's probably why I never got them. Have I tried setting the isle on fire? I mean, I did the equivalent, which was start chopping down every single tree to kind of narrow down the search range, but it just didn't work. Where's Pango? Is she at home? No, she's, she's out and about, I just haven't run into her. Oh, what? Wait, gyroids can wash up on the shore? I've never seen that before. Cool, I guess. I have way too many of those things. I don't even know what to do with them. I got a recipe for a golden rod as well, so... That's your reward for catching all the fish. As aside from the museum posters. Um... Where's Pango? Oh, no, but... 
if she was at someone's house, I I would have walked in on them. Unless in the time, unless in the time that I've been out and about, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is kind of funny. I put a paper bag on my head. So then people wouldn't identify me as Santa's helper. Brightly colored anteater. Where would you be? I've probably walked past her like so many times. Oh, you know where I haven't checked, which potentially. Maybe up, up here. But they don't usually hang out around here. No? Okay. Um. My new microphone is on the way as well, so... I don't know if it's gonna arrive this week because of all the public holidays, but definitely next week it'll, it'll be here. Some kind of keen to get that up and running. Um, and I did put in a request to, uh, install acoustic panels in here, so we'll see how it goes. If, uh, if I get the permission, then that'll probably be like a New Year's project for me. Set them up so then it doesn't sound so echoey. I mean, it sounds okay, right? It's it's possible. Like we've been doing fine with it, but you'd be surprised how different it sounds with just a little bit of sound treatment. So that'll that'll be my year five thing. You've never heard an echo. Well, it's not that it's e it's not that you hear an echo. It's that. It's so fucking hard to explain, but... It sounds like I'm in a room. It sounds like I'm in a room. That's the easiest way I can explain it. Whereas in... When you pad out the room of acoustic panels... It do It sounds like... Like I'm more in your ear. And it doesn't sound like I'm in a room. You know what I mean? It sounds like... I'm in a room. And that's such a weird thing to say, because of course I'm in a room, but... It just makes the space that I'm in sound... ...smaller. Like, you can probably picture the size room that I'm in. It's something that, unless you had a side-by-side, -side, you'd be- or even just a little bit. I don't know. Trust me, th there's a difference. We- we officially enter, like, podcast audio quality. It's like a radio show, almost. Comfy sandals. Nice. Where is Panga? What is- what is this? I don't understand, like, I've been running around like an idiot for a good five minutes and I ha haven't seen her. 
Unless she's hiding here. Oh, wait, you can look inside, right? It's just Pango. Oh, she's home now. Okay. She wasn't home before. Your friend just sent you the worst joke you've ever heard. Why is Peter Parker's shirt so wrinkly in No Way Home? Hmm, I don't know why. There you go. Finally. We're done. Where were you hiding? Because he doesn't have an Iron Man. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm all done. Oh, I lost the magic bag. Oh, there you go. Yes. You got a slay. Okay, we're done. Cool. Awesome. So I guess I can finally finish off that setup. How big is this thing? Oh, it's tiny. That's gonna look nice at night time. What out? There we go. Look at that. That was kind of the intent of what I wanted. <laughs> Listen, it's not the worst joke I've heard. Tin robot. RC helicopter. The toys, right? Dinosaur toy, yeah. I'll set up some of the stuff around the place. Let's not wake blathers. Ah, <sighs> all right. Take a coffee break. That joke was amazing. It, <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you know what I do? You know what I've been getting into, which is a bit weird. I saw this pop up on my my uh my timeline in Twitter. It's probably the only time that I've been like, yes, this recommendation tracks for me. Some dude is like, there's there's apparently. A genre of tweets where people they will put Gordon Ramsay into situations and kind of put him what he would what he would say in that situation. So here's an example. Imagine Gordon Ramsay being lowered down into a well and he's like, fuck me. And he's in a bucket. And he's descending deeper, and his voice begins to echo. 
and being lowered down into a fucking well. Into the fucking darkness. He keeps descending. Barely audible echoes now. Fucking hell. This is just deep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just... That's, that's the toy. It's just... Stuff like this. Gordon Ramsay is now in Kitchen Nightmares. Where are you getting this eggnog? The staff member says, We milk it fresh from the creature every day. Oh, fuck me. They milk it from the creature? This place is going under. They're <laughs> <laughs> just so dumb. Do you want another one? Okay. So... Again on Kitchen Nightmares. Right. Let's have a look at the walk-in. Gordon opens the door and sees a little mushroom man eating a rotten cucumber like a banana. Ah, oh, fuck me. Did you know there's a little ghoulie in there? Fuck, that's frightening. He's having a munch. At least somebody's enjoying the food. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just so dumb, but there's just a genre of tweets of people putting Gordon into situations like that. The one in the well, it got me. I was I was laughing at that one. Quietly for a while. He's having a munch. What else? Alright, one more. Okay, so again, kitchen nightmares where it has been revealed that the restaurant that Gordon Ramsay is trying to save, the chef is actually Bigfoot. Oh, fuck me. The chef's fucking Bigfoot. For fuck's sake. <laughs> That's a short one, but a funny one. Um... Yeah. It's dumb, but I I find it amusing. Gordon has been on many jokes this year. This is looking a little more full. It's not it's not as empty as before. Um, did I know Steven Seagal runs weird? Oh boy. <laughs> that was the unexpected meme of the year. Um, speaking of that, at, well, in like, I don't know. At midnight tonight, basically the Christmas thing, um, highlight reel comes out today. In a few hours time, so. Maybe tomorrow I can... I don't know. I might do a viewing of it here. If people want. Otherwise, you can watch it yourself. It'll be out in... I can't do the math, but, you know. At midnight, my time. It's, it's officially done. And if something funny happens in the next seven days, well... It's okay, I'll just recycle old jokes. Just... Old, no, no new memes, just old memes until December 31st and then... We'll be fine. That can go into next year's one. It can't though. I'd be lying then. It wouldn't be part of 2022. It might, it's like a magical period of seven days where I can't be held accountable for anything. Did I? Are you kidding me? I just bought this yesterday. 
I bought I bought the fake one yesterday. Uh, I'll buy the painting. Uh, that's just unlucky. Alright. The gap still counts though, I mean I guess. 37 Fahrenheit sounds awful. It's cold, yeah. I certainly wouldn't want that for Christmas. That's like four degrees. Uh, is it? Yeah, you might be right. It's seven. Let's see. I think it might be. It's two degrees. Yeah. Hey, and you wouldn't leave the house. Yeah, we're, we're sheltered. That's like a warm winter's day for them. Um. I might as well do the friendship blessing with uh, the new one. Do the friendship blessing. Gross, a little. I would like to experience it though, you know, at least once. But I'm just convinced that I don't think I would ever be able to like, it'd be very hard to live with someone that is used to that kind of temperature because pretty much I'm going to be cold when they're not cold. And the same goes for summer, they're going to get warm very quickly, whereas I'm going to be fine when it's like 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. If it's going to be that cold, Melbourne better have the decency to at least snow. Well, in the mountains, maybe, but just, I don't think we've ever gotten snow. Like, maybe light amount of snows, but it just pretty much disappears right away. Like, it's not enough for it to stick. I think once in the 50s. For some reason, I remember that it hailed quite a bit. Yeah. Um... Oh, this is a nice wrap up. Okay. So Melbourne, apparently the average temperature for Melbourne is 25 during summer. But then top temperatures, that's interesting. Our average is 25 for summer. Then 20 Celsius for autumn. Winter is 6.5 to 14.2 Celsius. Spring is 9.6 to 19.6 Celsius. In Fahrenheit, it's 57 to 77. For summer, 51 to 68 for autumn. 43 to 57 for winter. 49 to 67 for spring. Not what I wanted to find out, but... Um, does it snow? It says it's it's extremely rare. Okay, the last time snow hit the ground in Melbourne was in 1986. So there you go. Before I was born, sorry. Great. <laughs> You're way off. Yeah. I mean, it's still it's still like. 
40 years ago. Almost. It's getting there. <laughs> the record low, the record low temperature of negative two Celsius was in the 1800s. So you know. Just speaks volumes about how sheltered we are. Yeah, let's do some toy day stuff. Good, it can stay there. I mean, that's not that bad. I think it's fine. It's just if we ever experience true winter where it's like negative double digits, then we'll be in trouble. European winter. Something, anything that our Scandinavian friends uh, experience. Alright, oh, I'm doing the wrong thing again. So you know what's great with my, uh, Con well, the controllers that I have that have turbo functionality, I just put turbo A and turbo Y. So then it just automatically presses A and Y. I just stand in front of the tree and it automatically picks them up as I shake them. It was great. I just left my switch on the desk for a while. Wait, what am I missing? That's cool. Oh, it's it's come in handy quite a bit. Like when I've been trying to get shiny Pokemon, um, and you have to repeat cutscenes. It's been useful. Because I can just progress the cutscene without pressing a single button. Um, I'm guessing I need iron. Okay, let's just get the common crafting materials out. Which is... Tree branches, the woods, and stone, and that. Okay. There we go. Um. Yeah, I guess that's what I wanted, right? This. There you go. I'm curious as to whether or not you can customize it. I think two should be enough. Let's go to Harv's Island, it's easier. This is probably one of the best things I've added. Just a purpose for that island.
And damn, um, look at the massive Christmas day display they had on the other side of the river. I guess I didn't go down that far. <laughs> oh well. Uh, alright. Let's see if we can do anything to these. Yeah, I thought so. There you go. You can. And also customize the tree as well. Um, get one of these. Effectively have one of each. Um... And that one, right? Yeah. That's all of them. Oh, there's- wow, there's different kinds. Um... Tough one. I'm just thinking what would go well with... I'm leaning more towards... Well, I guess the other one- we already have orange quite a bit. Scared me a little. Dude, 36 months, that's crazy. That's three years, right, officially. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> Let's get the rainbow one. Why not? How's, uh, how's things, Nick? Yeah, jeez, man. Three years officially on Christmas almost. That's wild. So... Yeah, more than halfway. It's kind of crazy to think. Halfway what? Well, I've been streaming for like five years, right? So you've been sub more than half that time. That's what I mean, yeah. It's uh, quite the streak. Hoping everyone's doing great and being in a nice Christmas mood. Oh, I am in a nice Christmas mood. Oh. Okay, these things are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. I guess I could temporarily take these trees down. Um. Or I could set these up elsewhere, I guess. It might be overkill to put it on the beach. Okay, how about this? Since... I did kinda... Eh, I don't know. I kinda wanna re to redo the park, but then it's a lot of effort. I 
I think it's easier just to take out the trees temporarily. Ah, oh, really? Really? Um, it's okay. Conveniently, I have the stuff to be able to craft one. I kind of wish the golden equivalents of these items wouldn't break. That would have been nice. Okay. Yeah, um, what are your plans for uh, Christmas, dude? I'm kind of killing time until I have to go, which is like in an hour and a half ish. Something like that. I mean, I should finish getting ready in like an hour and a half ish. Not that I have to go. Unfortunately, I gotta go to the post office because. When I was out yesterday, something was attempted to be delivered and I wasn't home, which... Something I wasn't accounting for. Okay. Is there room for this? Yeah, okay. No, there's room. There's room. That works. Okay. Okay, I don't want them to be perfectly side by side. I think I need more of these presents, to be honest. Maybe one more. There you go, the, the Christmas display, more or less. You actually planless, you finish your last day of work until the 3rd of January, so you're just enjoying your time off. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, today is a day for me, and then tomorrow it's gonna be a game of video games. They have video games, not game of video games. Oh, this is A. Oh shit. Okay. That would be nice to make. Um. Hang on, what am I missing? Oh, gold ornaments, I see. Hold up. This is why I'm glad that I farmed these. They're, well, we'll have our usual Zelda stuff tomorrow. But then I'm gonna play something um, that I associate with childhood. I haven't quite finished, figured it out yet. Because, yeah, we don't do anything on the 25th here, so. Okay, keep crafting. Um, we need this, right? So I'll see what we do tomorrow. The highlight, end of your highlight reel comes out in a few hours. So that'll be out. And um, what was it? It was wooden toy block and... Ooh, this is... Uh, that's assuming I have them. Alright, that, that was one of the ones I need. And what was the other one? Hang on. Cardboard box. Oh. Really? 
I think that we can just go pick it up. I'm pretty sure we can just go get that. I keep forgetting I'm a day ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So. It kind of works because I can do a Christmas stream and... It doesn't interfere with my Christmas at all. Cool. Exactly what I needed. Let's take a few of these. Someone threw out a music player. You're not a big fan of Zelda, but you have nothing to do with come chill here anyway. I mean, we're just going to be finishing Ocarina, so that shouldn't eat up too much time, because I left it outside the last dungeon I need to do. Then it's just getting heart pieces. I don't think I'll do the Sculptula thing, because that might take too long. We'll see. I might look up a list of it. Um, and then it's just beating the last boss. We should wrap that up tomorrow pretty quickly. Now this should be craftable. No? Wait, red wrapping paper? Oh shit. Well, I like whatever I'm playing after Zelda. Well, I haven't decided. It's gonna be a game that's it's from my childhood, so something on the Super Nintendo, or the Game Boy, or the NES, that's basically it. I'll see what I feel like. Shit, red wrapping paper. Um... That kind of puts a damper in my plan. I don't think I have red wrapping paper. I have orange and blue. Why specifically red? <laughs> Playing Crash to 100%. We already did that. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, that is a game from my childhood. Like, yeah. Technically. Crash 2 was the one we owned, then Crash 3, so... You are correct. But, I don't think I want to put my- well... Okay, here's the thing. I'd be playing the PS1 version. Which means that doesn't have time trials, so 100%ing that actually isn't hard. It's just the insane trilogy. That was a fucking nightmare. You would love it if I played Crash. Oh, you missed out. Let me tell you. This is what happened with the Crash Insane Trilogy. Three years ago, when that game came out, I played Crash Bandicoot 1 and tried to get everything on it. Because they retrofitted, um... That was three years ago? It was three years ago, yeah. I tried to get Platinum Relics, and it was so much of an ordeal that I t did not play Crash 2 until a year later. <laughs> so I took a year off, and then I went back and played Crash 2 and 3. I'm pretty sure Crash 2 and 3 was in 2019, and then Crash 4 was 2020. If I'm- if I'm remembering correctly, that was the order of things. I definitely took a year off. Before playing Crash, uh... Crash 2 and 3. Cause... It just took that much out of me. 
And of course there's there's the stream which uh all the regulars from that era are aware of. The uh you know what stream. As long as this doesn't get in the way, I'm happy to put it here, but Okay, it, it doesn't, but it doesn't look good either. I'm of course referring to- yeah, alright, that'll do. The bridge screen. The time that you lost me at the bridge stream was enough for me not to play Crash for another year. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. It wasn't the bridge stream that made me want to take a break, believe it or not. As, as funny and as painful as that level was, it wasn't the worst level. The worst level, which that was just, okay. The bridge stream was just me trying to get something done that I didn't really have any control over. It was kind of... The only way to do it was to cheese it, and unfortunately the method of cheesing it just didn't... wasn't reliable, right? It was a luck thing, which I can come to terms with. But the thing that was not an, a luck thing was those two levels, Stormy Ascent, and Slippery Climb, the one where it's like raining and it's outside of Cortex's castle. Those stages... Those stages, fucking hell. They took longer than what that bridge level did. It took several streams to get past those stages. In terms of time trial. And they were just a result of like... You would not know if you were going to make it until well past the halfway point. Like, there was a certain point in that stage where right away, after halfway, you would know, okay, I have a chance of making it or there's no chance of making it. And that was exhausting. That was way more frustrating. The bridge stream, at least, it was like, I could die at any point. And most of it, honestly, was happening at the start, right? But the other ones, it was like, you would invest two minutes into it, and then some- yeah, you just wouldn't make it. <laughs> so, what about the lab? Yeah, frustrating, but not- definitely gotta say the slippery climb levels were the ones that I think- I was like, okay, I- I can't do- cr I just can't do Crash Bandicoot 2 right now. Um. The lab was the most RNG cycle based. It was, but I, I got lucky with it. I guess, like, it didn't take me as long as it took some other people. Ripper and Pinstripe Potteroo scared the hell out of you as a kid. I found it hilarious that Pinstripe Potteroo had, like, this almost New York gangster style persona. It's like, what? All these creatures are Australian. Why, why is he a New Yorker? Um, I think this, this will look nice at nighttime. It's just kind of unfortunate. I don't really stream at night anymore. Anyway, I'm kind of wasting time. <laughs> Yeah, let's do this, quickly. You hated the generator room on PS1, super scary with the ominous music. Oh. Yeah. At any rate, you remember what I said when I finally got everything? When I finished Crash Bandicoot 3 and I had gotten platinum relics on all three games, you know what I said? This is what I said. I said I'm never fucking playing any of these games ever again. 
my screenshot or the video that showed that I I got everything. That's it. I kind of feel the same way about Splunky too, but maybe not enough time has passed. Funnily enough, you reinstalled the game a few days ago. You might replay it. What about Spyro? You love that game. Um, I played Spyro 1 for the first time this year. I haven't played uh, Spyro 2 yet. Or 3. They are, they are sitting there. Spyro is way more chill. Yeah, I mean, it... Definitely overall was more chill, but it had its moments. Like, uh, the levels where you have to fly around. And, uh, there's the whole train thing. And there was that, that level where it was kind of like treetops and you had to do this ridiculous jump. That took me a while to get down. But aside from that, I didn't really have any problems with that game. Ripto's Rage is the Bomb. Which one's that? The second one? I'm not really familiar with the Spyro titles. I didn't have any of them growing up. Though I was always curious about it because there were a couple of demo discs that did have Spyro on them. We're pretty much done here, right? Yeah. There's nothing I need from this island. Crypto is two, you're the dragon of three. Got ya. I gotta say, the last boss in that in Spyro 1 was a bit anticlimactic. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, you know what? I should get the glowing moss. If anything. All the bosses were. Well. The earlier ones were understandable, but. I think for a final boss, what that was, it was a game of tag, effectively. When it comes to Crash Bandicoot as well, <laughs> I'd never attempted the time trials properly on uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 because I looked at the effort that that would require on some of those stages. I was like, dude, this is probably going to be worse than any of the other games. It just feels like to me that would take forever and the ones where you had to do it without dying as well. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think it was just a matter of, uh, like, not enough time had passed. You ended up getting the 100%, 106% in Crash 4, damn. Was it more effort than any of the other Crash games? I imagine it was. Yeah, I mean, I think we're done here. No, you know what? Hold on. Let me get vines. The fuckers in hooded robes with the eggs made you see red. Oh, especially because they tease you about it. They're like, nah, 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 nah. bit more effort. The freaking alien level was disgusting to do all the boxes deathless. Oh no. I think the reason I got put off was some of those later stages that 
involve multiple mask mechanics and the inverting of stuff. Yeah, that would have would have taken forever. Oh, and the fact that the polar bear hitboxes were a bit... They were janky at best. Toxic level where you do the gem part to, then to do the level was deathless was also difficult. Ugh. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I think I made the right choice. And the thing was, with that game... Alright, the trilogy, the original trilogy... There was a semblance of nostalgia, and the fact that with Crash Bandicoot 3, as a kid I did get everything, and did do the whole Platinum Relic thing, I did all of that. So it stood to reason that as an adult I should be able to do it again. That was the only reason I did it. Whereas then with Crash 4, it was kind of like... In my head, I looked at the levels that gave me the most trouble just through the regular playthrough, and I was like, do I really want to throw myself against that brick wall? You didn't find those hitboxes janky that everyone says otherwise. Okay, it's not that they were janky, it's that they were precise. I think that the ones in the original were the janky ones. Because they had leeway, like... Okay, like, pretend like this is a series of boxes, right? If I was to hit the middle one with the, with the polar bear, the left and the right one would get hit. Whereas in, in Crash 4, it would probably be like either the left or the right one would get hit. And that was the problem. There were so many scenarios where because of how precise it became, it just meant that like... If you're used to the muscle memory of the polar bear from every other game, it was going to mess you up. Because you would have to be really, really accurate with it, which is, when you're doing a time trial, a bit difficult. So that's why I did not like it. I don't know what to do with these. I don't need fossils anymore, my museum is done. And I kind of left these out here in case anyone needs to finish their museum, but I don't think anyone does anymore. So the only thing I can think of is identify them and maybe form something outside the museum as a decoration. But I, I honestly have no purpose for them anymore. Oh, right on time. I was kind of worried we weren't going to get the slay, but I'm happy that we did. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> I have so many gyroids, I don't know what to do with them. But sure, there's, there's another one. It's almost been three years since you played the Insane Trilogy. Time flies really fast. Yeah, see? It tracks, right? I would have been playing that game three years ago as well. Time definitely does fly. Can you give gyroids to neighbors or sell? You can sell them. But I have, like... 14 million or something in the bank, so money is not that much of an incentive anymore. I'm just thinking if I should do anything else here. I want the, uh, the gift pile here, but I don't have red wrapping paper. Weird flex, but okay. I'm not flexing, I'm just saying, like... Do I need to acquire more money? Not really. It's the same 
rationale here. It's like, I could identify these and sell them, but why? I don't think I'm gonna run out of money anytime soon. Ah, yes, look at how many bells I have. Oh, I'm so rich. I can retire and not do anything. Ladies, one at a time, please. Look at how many bells I have in my pockets. My Tinder profile says, not to brag, but I have 15 million bells in my, my account in Animal Crossing. I could gift bells to friends, you ungrateful hack. Do you need bells, Sandy? Is that what you're trying to say? Because if you want bells, you can come collect these fossils and sell them if you want. Unfortunately, I could mail them, but you can only mail three things to a person each day. And so I just would always be behind because there's four fossils per day. I'd be in perpetual, like, mailing debt. The last two years don't count. Uh, I mean, the last two years are effectively one year. That's the weird thing. Hey, wait, before you come over here, do you have red wrapping paper in your store? Because your store would be open. Do you have red wrapping paper? Because if I... If I can buy some red wrapping paper... Then I can finish my little display. I also gotta watch the time. I did want to play Pokemon, but I like have an hour left. Before I should consider... Finishing to get ready. I gotta go to the post office as well. It's going to be closed tomorrow, so I have to go today. I can't really think much else to add to y'all. And sometimes adding a bit too much is, is overkill. Oh, that's... Is it because... Is it because this is in front of it? Hang on. So, I can't sit in it properly because... This is in front of it? Is that why? No. Damn it, get in. What? What do you mean? I can't actually sit in it properly. Okay, hang on. Can't, yeah, you can't actually sit in it properly. Huh. Okay. Weird. That's kind of disappointing, I gotta say. I thought for sure. Give the fossils. Well, do you have red wrapping paper? Because I'm saying, if you have red wrapping paper, can you please bring some? Because then I can craft the pile of presents. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll open the gate. But if you do have red wrapping paper, I would appreciate it very much if you could bring 
like a pile of, of 10 to 15. Or 20, or whatever is easiest, but just so I can craft stuff. Why does it have to be red? Like, it's so weird. They give you this recipe for Christmas wrapping paper, but then they ask you for a random color. Like, I don't get it. That wrapping paper should have been the Christmas type. It's bizarre that a Christmas recipe doesn't require the Christmas wrapping paper. Anyway, it's open. Um... I guess while it does the whole thing... Because Animal Crossing is, is a great online experience and it totally doesn't interrupt the gameplay for two minutes when someone visits the island. <laughs> it does. Okay, so you, you didn't know. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna get a drink of water, but I'm also gonna go to the bathroom, so... Whilst it does the whole, hey, someone's joining your island thing. Um, I'll do that. Back in a minute or two. Okay, I've returned. Um, I remembered I had juice in the fridge. I got juice. <sighs> it's quite the sugar hit, but whatever. Right, so... Okay, my fossils are still here. How many are there? There's 20, 22, 26, 30. 30 fossils. Is there a chance of me being like past midday? Oh, believe me, my parents will be like feeding me coffee and bread. 
sweet bread. No, the typical Central American thing. And then later on, my aunts will probably do the same thing. Ah, fuck! What? Why did that la- <sighs> Fuck off. Alright, rip present. Bread's gonna make me sleepy. No, but it's sweet bread, it's not bread. It's, it's not- it's not quite a- quite a cake. Because the cake would be incorrect. It's, it's... It's... Sweet bread. It's a Turkish coffee. Ugh, oh, jeez. Ugh, excuse me. My voice is gone all weird when I drank that juice. I think there was like a, a little pulp in it and I think it went down the wrong pipe or something. Ugh, I'm alright, I'm not dying. I'm fine. <laughs> it's no worse than that time when the spider appeared on stream and I had to go deal with it. I'm not dying. Wait. The store's about to open. Maybe I don't need the wrapping paper. Um, it's gonna be Central American coffee, so... Probably from El Salvador. Or it could just be instant, I don't know. Whatever they have, it has caffeine. I'm good. This will open in a minute and I'll be able to resolve the problem. Assuming it sells red wrapping paper. Kaz Caffeine is brown, pretty much. I'm like that annoying customer that lines up outside the store and Commando rolls under the door as they open it. <gasps> oh, you- Oh, you motherfuckers! Why? Uh oh. Sorry, um... Oh no. Just a sec. Shit. Ah, oh, shit. Um... Ah! Okay, so here's the thing. My microphone, the thing that I ordered, it gave an ETA of like next week. Right? And they've upgraded it, so it's going to arrive today. Which is a very nice thing to do, by the way. Oh, I got it. I got it. Um. To make it arrive in time for Christmas, they upgraded it. But the problem is now, I might not even be home when this arrives. But- ugh, Fuck! I gotta go to the post office as well, like... This fucks my plans up. Unless there's a way to, like... Please tell me I can say leave in a safe place. I don't think I, I can. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Who's delivering it? Toll. Because I, I live in the inner city, like, it's possible it could arrive. Okay, hang on. 
they definitely don't deliver before nine. Let me see. <sighs> Fuck. I might have to cut this short, chat. Okay, yeah, I think I will. They delivered stuff to you at 7.30 a.m. on a Sunday. You reckon they'll be fine? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Oh, this fucking sucks, man. I mean, it's great and everything, but... Post office opens in half an hour. I also have red wrapping paper, so I would recommend if you're coming here, Sandy, to uh, purchase red wrapping paper in case you don't have it. What a bizarre requirement. Okay, um, I need to get this stuff out. Get something out. Okay, we need... It's nice. It's a nice thing to do, but... It does royally fuck my plans a little. For this morning. Might have to call him and be like, hey, listen. Do they have a safe play option? Not that I could see. Okay, where is... <sighs> yeah, shit. I was just saying where it's coming from, and it's coming from two suburbs next to me. <sighs> okay, I think what I might have to do is put off the post office pickup until until next week. That would be the safest option for me. The Abbotsford Depot? No, the one in the on the west end. You'd be surprised if that took longer than 10.30. Yeah, but I'm supposed to leave. Like, okay. It ultimately depends on my brother. Oh, you know what? I'll message my brother. Not yet, because they're probably sleeping, but... I'll message him in an hour and they'll be like, Hey, dude, take your time. Fucking... Expecting a parcel and... I'm hoping it gets here early. I can't rely on it, you're right. That's That's the problem. And I don't want to have to go pick it up from the depot, because that's more of a pain in the ass than going to the post office. How dare they be considerate and upgrade my shipping? How dare they? Um... Where is... Oh, there we go. Get a couple... Oh, yeah, and where's the block toy? There it is. Get tolls on tolls Twitter and happy blast. And well, that's the thing. I can't exactly be mad because. It's not even Tal's fault 
It's JB Hi-Fi because they're the ones that organize the shipping, right? They are the ones that are that were like, oh, let's be let's be considerate and uh, we'll upgrade his shipping. No room. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it, it is technically in the way. Um. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be fun. You know, I don't know why they couldn't add the... the freeform thing that Happy Home has. It'd be super nice. And then I can... Okay, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? There we go. It's hard to tell which one's which. This one? Yeah. all the presents. Yeah, so all, all I'm just gonna have to do is just... Ah! Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to go to the post office, uh... Wait. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just gonna have to go... Because Monday is Boxing Day, technically a replacement holiday thing. But I doubt they're open, which means I'm going to have to go Tuesday. Which is fine. I don't even know what it is that I'm picking up, to be honest. I thought I had everything accounted for. But it might be something that I pre-ordered. Because um, I've been getting video game soundtracks for my record collection. So it might be one of those. Okay, that works. I can run around it. It doesn't get in the way. It's too much effort to move all of this, like one to the, the left, or sorry, to the right. But hey, I, I got the wrapping paper thing, so that's nice. <laughs> it's gonna be set up here for like, Two days tops. Now your mum was being needy as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Hang on. Don't, don't do it yet. Let me get this present. Don't do it yet. Okay. You may now... You may now come to the island. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Are you ready for an unforgettable luncheon? We'll be having steamed hams. Mm-mm. Yo, the, um, it's the, the meme thing. Remember when The Simpsons used to be funny? That's, that's what that's from. I gotta say, like, even by Nintendo standards, this is by far the worst implementation of an online system. When they were playtesting this, like, come on. Surely someone would have been like, hmm. Don't you think it's a bit of a pain in the ass to stop gameplay for a whole two minutes every time someone joins an island? Just descend already! That's one thing we don't have here, is the whole concept of Christmas sweaters. It's something that I've wanted to try, to be honest. Microsoft every year sells, um, these nerdy Christmas sweaters. They did one for Windows 95 and they did one for Minesweeper. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanted them, but... It doesn't make sense to get them because the time of year I can wear them, it's, it doesn't make much sense, does it? all up. <laughs> Good. I'm still a little annoyed, not gonna lie. I look at the map to maybe see if it has detailed, tra detailed tracking, but nope. It's like, the map shows a bird's eye flight. Like, oh, if it was to be a complete straight line, this is the path it's gonna take. It's, oh, that's useful. It, uh. Old Sandy in the background just swiping the fossils. <laughs> well. Wait, you didn't take all of them. Don't tell me it, it filled your- no, it can't have filled your inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, well, okay, maybe perfectly. Depends what you had in your inventory. Could, it could have potentially filled it up. Don't tell me you had to make two trips, that's funny. Well, at least that area looks cleaner.
So one thing I've wanted to redo for a while, which I'm still thinking, but I've got an idea now. Up here, I kind of set up this area and I never really did anything with it aside from flowers, which as you can see has gotten out of hand. Um, I was trying to make every single color, but it did not uh, pan out. But I might set up like a little theme park up there. I think everything else more or less has like a theme to it. There's some things I'd like to redo, but... And then remodeling around here. Like maybe muse move the museum back and then s set up some stuff in front of it. Just to better make use of the space. And then move my house back a bit as well. Okay, I'm gonna try something. And I hope it works. If I was to gift... Because I don't like that, that the eagle is effectively living in a storage unit. If I was to gift him wallpaper, would that change his wallpaper? I hope so. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. I'll see what's in here today. Oh, they have these. Kind of nice. Uh, right, wallpaper. Yeah, so... If I gift him this, will this change his wallpaper? I hope so. That item is so cute. Which item? Oh, the, the potted plant thing? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, Sandy. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little item. I might buy a couple more, just to gift them to some of the villagers. I've never actually attempted giving them... You don't think gifting wallpaper will change their house? Well, let's see. Um, wait. It might be a bit early to do it, yeah. Because he hasn't moved in completely. Okay, I'll try it tomorrow. I'm kind of curious as to what his theme would be that would require... Well, his house to look like a storage unit, like why? Um, but I guess eventually with the happy home decorator, like, you're able to change the look of your villager's house, so, maybe with that? Do you need to call Peter for what? What did I do? What did, what did I say that could be remotely interpreted as harassing the eagle? What did I do? The poor eagle is living in a literal box, but... <laughs> that's of his own choosing. It's not like I put him in that box. He set up that house himself. That's the style that he picked. I can't help it.
Um, I need a new slingshot. And I'm too lazy to craft one. I guess I'm done being the Christmas helper so I can take the sack off. <laughs> it kind of feels like I can. What do you mean? Every villager has a, a set theme. They move in, they have their... their choice of furniture and choice of everything. It's not my fault the dude decided to live in a storage unit. Alright, uh... I guess I should go weird some of you out here. With the concept of a summer Christmas. So... When did I get the Guy Fieri shirt? Um... Too warm to wear that. Close enough. Or do I have anything else that's... Not really. Why do I have three vampire costumes? There you go. Do I have... I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. And... Are these baths? No, they're sh yeah, they're shower sandals. Alright, fine. That's about as Australian Christmas as one can get. <laughs> there you go. Do I use a capture card to stream? Yeah. Yeah. You kind of have to. There's no other way to stream Switch, really, without one. Any brand recommendations? Uh... I mean, I went with Elgato just because that's what's re readily available here in Australia. But that being said, I've heard that Ava Media ones are better. Um, the Elgato ones, they're small and they're, they're pretty low profile. But I've had random issues with them. They'll get the job done, but sometimes they will do weird things and... You'll have to, like, do a, uh, like a refresh. For some reason, for example, when I capture PS5, sometimes the audio goes all weird and then I have to force restart it. But very minor. Um, the Ava Media ones are more expensive, though. But I've heard streamers generally go with them. Wait, did you write Tuesday upside down, Nick? And backwards, right. Um, did you get all your fossils? <laughs> How did I do do that? Do do what? What do you mean? You can definitely get start the Elgato ones. Um, they just do HDMI, and you can definitely get started with one of the low-end ones that just do, like, 1080p basic capture. Oh, how did Nick do the Tuesday thing? I don't know. I'm sure Nick has his ways. But yeah, the Ava Media ones, um... 
some of the other ones are more fancy. They have inputs for uh, other types like Buy bitch, see a <laughs> Did you get all your fossils? I saw you left six. Yeah, there's still six fossils here. Are these fossils too good? And as many as you could get. Oh, well. <laughs> That's fine. What am I gonna do with all these recipes? Oh, and thank you for the follow. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I noticed it on my activity feed, but then the bot didn't... Okay. The bot's sleeping a little. You took some recipes. That's fine. That's what they're there for. One day we will get an Animal Crossing game where you're able to have people visit your island and it doesn't eat up two to three minutes of your time just to let them arrive and leave. Yeah, I mean, some of this stuff, like, I imagine everyone has at this point. Like, the bounty stuff, for example, and the pile of leaves. Well, this courier thing has certainly ruined my morning plans. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I was gonna play Pokemon, but I might not have time. <sighs> How dare they be so nice to me and upgrade the shipping on, on my stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take pretty much most of these and just sell them, because I don't need them. As a starting point. I honestly don't remember the idea I had for here. I'm pretty sure I wanted to make like a garden. And, you know, the bridges, kind of... Like the, uh... I kind of- yeah, I think I remember. The zoo here in Melbourne kind of has this spot that, um, it's a bunch of bridges like this, and they go over some ponds. Tell the courier specifically how much my day is ruined because of this. They love it when customers do that. Yeah, I'll be like, how dare you, sir? You ruined my stream schedule. I want you to come into my house and apologize to my viewers. I'll unwrap the new microphone and the very first thing we'll use it for is from to get an apology from the courier service for upgrading me for free. John Wick Chapter 4 release date is March 24, 2023. Don't you just love it when uh, they show stuff years in advance? I haven't seen any of the John Wick movies. You keep hearing Korea service and not Korea. Korea. Is it better if I say Korea? Or is it worse? Do I have to say it like that? Korea. It's Chatter! Chatter! Say it! Shout there. Ha! Listen to how he says chowder. Says shout there. Shout there. It's chowder. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Old Simpsons reference. I know, I'm a boomer. That's fine. Oh, okay. Thanks. It's fine. I think my inventory is full, right? Wow. <laughs> okay. Timing. I have to go to the store anyway. It's fine. Consider it, like, intentional. Planned. Thanks for the 100,000 bells. But you're welcome. Wait, have you finished your museum? Or did you just purely take that for the bells? You took it for the bells, didn't you? You did. I got a thousand bells. Okay, that's fine. John Wick is amazing. Yeah, it's one of those movies that, or series that I kind of slept on. The problem was, every time that I'm in the mood to check it out it's n it's not on the streaming services it's services services and uh they'll have like one of them one of the movies not all of them and of course it's not the first one it'll be like john wick 2 or john wick 3 so that uh makes it a bit harder Check it out. I literally just flexed that I don't need the bells. Don't be butthurt about the Mega Thousand. It's, I wasn't flexing. Like, how is this a flex? I just casually mentioned that. I have an internet connection. You're sure I can figure something out? I mean, look, I try to do things legit these days. The days of raising that flag. Um, well over. I mean, to be fair, like, I could probably rent the movies from... from Google or Apple for, like, a couple bucks. I don't know, you know, with Netflix, like... If it wasn't for the fact that they have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like, the next... Well, the fact that they have Stone Ocean on there. If it wasn't for that, I probably would have cancelled Netflix. Because in the last two years, pretty much since the pandemic started, they have raised the prices in Australia, I think, four times now. Maybe three. At least three times. So, I don't know. It's just... I hate that this is becoming... What it is, but... Yeah, like, we're kind of going back to the days of, um... Where you had ridiculous pricing on cable TV. It's moving towards that, where everyone's getting their own streaming service, effectively. And everyone wants you to subscribe to them, and... It's now... It's becoming a thing, where... Yeah. Effectively, you're paying what you used to pay for, um... 
cable TV, like those expensive pro uh, packages. Particularly in Australia, right? Like, let me tell you. The uh, company that, uh, yeah, the company that runs cable TV here for the majority, I hate them. Because, uh, yeah, they are pretty much responsible for multiple things. One being the cancellation of, um, the project where 96% of the country was going to get fiber internet. Because they lobbied against it. And they're also responsible for, like, um... Licensing deals in Australia, effectively, like... Did you know that Australia... When it came to, when it came to Game of Thrones, we were... The country that pirated Game of Thrones the most. And the reason was... Because this company... Pretty much blocked the release of DVDs. And anything... Even, like, digital purchasing of Game of Thrones in Australia because they had the licensing rights. And they wanted people to subscribe to their, uh, cable service, which at, at a minimum is, like, $70. So they were like, yeah, fuck yeah, people will pay $70 a month for Game of Thrones. And we give them sports. Everyone loves sports, right? Um... So, yeah. I guess what I'm saying... <sighs> I hate that it's going back to that. That's more or less what it is. I don't know, with, with Netflix, right? I think nowadays with their originals, some of them are, are becoming a bit more of a gamble, investment-wise, in terms of time. I feel like for Netflix, it's now more of a thing where, when a bunch of their shows come out, then I, uh, I resubscribe. But of course, now that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is on there, and I'm waiting for that to finish, because they released 12 episodes and then... There's probably going to be, like, another two drops of it. I'll probably have it until that's over. Don't be greedy, cunts. Sorry, Americans, for dropping the C-bomb. No, it's fine. <laughs> just, uh, all you need to do if you drop the C-bomb is just, uh, flash your Australian card. It's fine. Then they're like, okay. Aussies get a pass with that word. Because we don't mean it in the sense that other people mean it, you know? There we go. And the rest can get sold. Yeah, so we probably won't get time for Pokemon, thanks to this delivery thing. Oh yeah. Message my brother real quick. I'm just gonna let him know. Thank you. 
anymore. <laughs> um. I hope they get here in the next hour. I really do. <sighs> My brother also let me know that. He has like a, a big staff discount today. Ugh, so I don't know if I want to purchase more games to add to the backlog. I can't think of anything else on PS4. I've pretty much been picking up PS4 story driven games. Ones that are good exclusives. So. I can't think of anything else. I think I have enough for the. <laughs> for next year, we definitely have enough. No need to apologize for the cunt thing. Yeah. There's no need. There's an authority to leave. I don't know. I think I'm looking for it. You would need to ask him for Pokemon Snap. I think even with 30% discount Australian, you'd probably be able to get it cheaper in America. That's yes, doorbell. I think this is it. All right, back in a sec. Crisis averted. It's here. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I can I can go to the post office still then. Ah I love it when shit works out. So, new microphone. That's exciting. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> well, I guess if I wrap up in like the next 10 minutes or so, I can go to the post office, come back and then set this up. And then tomorrow it'll be ready. Hand stream? No. <laughs> Do you know how I have to completely like move cables and stuff? It's going to be a process. But yeah, I'm excited, and hopefully 
My request to put acoustic panels doesn't get denied. I mean, I said that, and I'm not lying, technically. That part of my job at work involves, like, doing voiceovers for training videos, which is true. I do have to do quite a bit of those from time to time, but... I mean, the primary reason I'd be getting them would be for streaming, let's face it. On the topic of hand content, though, I did get more Pokemon cards. Of those, uh, anniversary type. <sighs> you know what, my bro- my brother got some. Because... Nostalgia, right? He opened one pack. One pack. And he got the fucking Charizard. He opened one pack and he got the fucking Charizard. I mean, it's fine. It wasn't the Blastoise, but still. I'm doing his chores for a month. Why? We don't live together. <laughs> oh yes, I'm going to drive one hour to do his chores. Fine, I I've been luckier in other circumstances. How are we doing here? Okay. okay. I'm kind of excited for this new microphone. I, I want to see how much of a difference it's going to make. It's- this is like actual formal podcasting. Finally you're too lazy to finish that statement, but not- I would imagine finishing that sentiment would be- It would contain more words than- Than that other sent- I don't know. But that- I got up, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How's it going, good morning? Ugh. But yeah. Step one of the new setup is... Yeah, good. Okay, I'll sell... Maybe not all the reds. That. I've already had like six Red Bulls. Nah. Nah. I had two small ones. thinking where to set this up. I mean, this is pretty much your idea of summer Christmas. exactly have a massive plot of land to be able to do a rose setup, but we'll see. Oh yeah, look at <laughs> jeez. This has been a long time coming, like just getting rid of this and setting something proper up. I gotta, I gotta run a few cables to move this. And then there's the new mount as well, like it comes with a, a shock mount, a different one, so I gotta set that up. It's, 
the process. Um, alright. I suppose I could set it, some of it here. I did want to redo this. Um, okay. I don't know, this music doesn't sound Christmassy to me. Some of it does, but in other parts it, it reminds me of like a European holiday. Like, this part sounds Christmassy. Okay, I'm looking for a plot of land where I can plant these. It sounds like small town music from a Final Fantasy game. I can see that. I don't really have much left in terms of land. Alright, where am I gonna put this? I mean, I could. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do it here. So if I was to go... Bear with me. And I'm probably not doing this in the correct order, but... Hey. I need another pink one. Let me see if I can get another pink one. Really? I don't have more than one pink one. Okay, well, they're, they're there, but... Oh, there we go. Excuse me. White first, then red. Oh, the I got yellow, right? Jeez, dude. <laughs> At some point, I was trying to. Trying to get some of the other roses. I think to get gold, you need to have the black ones together. Maybe I can set that up. Okay. Right, and then... That 
Yeah, there you go. That finishes it. I can keep going, but I feel like this looks fine. I'll probably put a tree here. And then the idea is have a path connecting here. Now you get the idea. Um, I don't really want to get rid of all of them. So I guess I could set more up here. Do the same thing again. Or close enough to it. Maybe not the full thing. I think this ought to be enough. There we go. Okay. And I'll sell the rest. Clothing store is open. Let's see what's in there. <laughs> this is why I've been procrastinating doing something up here. It's it's just too involved. So what I'm going to do is because it's easier to do it here. I honestly don't remember how this is done, but it's something like this. If we do this. Hang on. Let me see. Animal crossing hybrid flowers, that's what we want. Okay. Handy chart. What the crap? This <laughs> has gotten more complex. There we go. How do you make gold? Red plus red equals blue, apparently. Oh, no, wait, I see. Hang on. Okay, so I'm wrong. Wait, these are purple. Red plus red equals... What? There's black and there's purple. Red plus red equals black. Wait, did I use all- Oh! Shit. Okay. Well, this is something. Um, I'm pretty sure I have more black. Okay, so... There's one thing I'm correct about. It's just I've done it wrong. 
So if I do this. Okay, no, no. Oh, yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. See, this is why. I... Okay. That creates something. I need another orange one. Okay, I get it. This is why it's never worked out. This will yield something. The roses are the more complicated ones. If I do this set up here, then one more up here, that'll give me something. needed more orange ones um so pretty much the only one i don't have is this special red one which will make a blue one eventually but this will lead to the special red one okay but at least i got the idea isolated here so this should give me something Um, then I guess for everything else, I don't know, it's, it's fine, I think. I've got plenty of those. <laughs> okay. It sucks that you can't put these into storage. I've never understood that. Why? Why not? Alright. Yeah, it's... It's a bit unfortunate. It's, why am I not allowed to put them into storage? Let's figure out what to do with them later. Do I have to commit now? Fine. I'll commit. This part here, it just sounds like a European vacation, like visiting Paris or Rome. It just has that vibe to it. I'll get rid of the other two. The thing is, Christmas songs are in public domain, aren't they? I guess 
They don't call it Christmas either, it's just Toy Day, so maybe just to keep generic. They call it that. Your mom is mad at you, said you ruined her Christmas. That's uh that's a bit of an extreme thing to say. <laughs> oh. Big castle gate. Um Petulant child, old boy. Sorry to hear that, Sandy. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. It's ready, whatever, you're just ready for 2022. Well, hopefully next year will be uh, a bit more normal. I'm not holding my breath, but... <laughs> no. Okay, um... So... I'm just gonna dump stuff here, for now. Yeah? Okay. But this is the idea, like, up here. I'm gonna set up stuff. I think maybe even pull it back. It doesn't have to be, like, right on the edge. Okay, yep. Okay. What do you mean there's no room? <sighs> the papa! There's no... There should be room. Okay, that's what I wanted. And then I'll put it like a... Some other stand here. Wait, is, did I get two... Married... Oh no, here. Yeah. Okay, um... Hold on. I didn't really check out the color options, but... How big is this thing? What? How- is this thing just gigantic? Okay, it would appear that this thing is bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, if I was to chop this tree down, would it fit here? Uh oh. In the wall pipe. In the wall pipe. <laughs> Galaxy brain strategy. They didn't follow me into the void? Nope.
Outplayed. Okay. What the sh- How big is this thing? Oh my god. Okay, that's why it doesn't fit. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I don't know. That is pretty gigantic. Um, no, I don't know about that one. Okay, um, look. I can set up a few things. Seat Cup Ride is gonna get moved here as well. What else have we got? We got the, the merry-go-round. The merry-go-round can go here as well. Or perhaps here. I can't believe how big that thing is. Ridiculous. Kind of in the way, but... I mean, I'm gonna fix it up later. I can't really think what else to do with this. Oh, there you go. They don't have carriages, though. But sure. Uh, hang on. I mean, those will get it removed eventually. Let me get rid of this for now. I think this can go here. Yeah. For the time being. Tick up ride can come up here. I can't believe how gigantic that elephant thing is. I didn't expect for it to be that big, but I guess it's like a jumping castle. Put the other two away for now. I'll follow through with that plan later, for now. Also, I wanted this for this. Um, I'm hoping at night time it'll look better than what it looks like. Like, I'm hoping that those lights give it a back glow, but we'll see. If not, I'll move it. Okay. Well, I didn't get to play Pokemon. <laughs> Blame the courier for that one. Um, but... I do need to uh, get going, chat, because I need to go to the post office, come back, and then I'm essentially going to leave for Christmas. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this. So.
So the plan for tomorrow, because it's Christmas day formally. I didn't do anything on the 25th, so we're gonna finish Ocarina of Time tomorrow, and then I'll pick a game from my childhood. That's usually the Christmas tradition. I play through a game that I used to play as a kid. So that's the plan. Um, the highlight reel for this year will be out in 15 hours. It'll be out today. Pretty much midnight my time, so look out for it. If maybe we're not doing much tomorrow, I can potentially watch it here. I don't think there's anything that's going to ring any copyright bells for once, <laughs> so we could get away with it. Oh, hey, Seth. I'm just wrapping up because I, I need to get going. It's Christmas here, so we celebrate on the 24th. Um, I just need to pop down to the post office and then... Yeah, I'm leaving to go spend time with my family for the day, so... Have a nice Christmas. Yeah, thanks, dude. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be around tomorrow. I've got nothing to do, so... For most of you, it'll be a Christmas Eve stream. Yeah. That's what the plan is for tomorrow if you want to spend some time and chill. Um, Ocarina of Time. Then I'll pick a childhood game and if there's time, maybe we can watch the highlight reel. It's a long one, but um, it does cover everything that um, we've gotten up to this year. So I'm pretty happy with it. A lot of good memories and yeah, as I've said before, it's definitely helped with... Uh, this year, you know, between all the lockdowns and the pandemic, honestly, it was nice to be able to play a bunch of games and just kick back with you all, and at times definitely forget the state of things in the outside world, <laughs> so thanks for that. But yeah, um, be on the lookout, it'll, it'll pop out, if you're in Discord, um, you'll see the bot hopefully notify you, otherwise you can check YouTube in like 15 hours or so. Alright, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>